So as you see, it is currently 7.35, just watching a bit of Iman, um, I don't know, just kind of on a break a little bit, but yeah, just watching Iman and realizing that my videos are, I, I don't know what to say, I, it just kind of humbles me a little bit and kind of helps me to understand my progress because I've only made like how many videos I've made only 20 videos my 14th video was because that was Iman's 14th video um the one that you just saw this one and the quality on it I just realized the difference between and some naturals like the quality of his video on his 14th video and his 14th upload compared to me on my 14th is a big difference but not as in like his his editing is better than mine in fact actually my editing is better than his but the the difference only is is maybe in the content it talks more about his life in the 14th video it was my um one of my episodes for the month recap series uh, the final segment of the month recap series and I was just like I don't know just looking observing honestly I don't think I have a lot to say I've just been looking through um, you know some playlists uh, for what I have uh, on video editing just looking at that I was just recently looking at film grains nothing much on here I have two videos that I have not uploaded yet for um so i'm gonna edit all right let me zoom in. i'm gonna edit this one before i edit this one um and hopefully um i get those done but usually when i'm not editing i am learning video editing i'm going through this sheet uh just looking at my notes i'll get up my notes as well so looking at this and whatever i've done put a cross over it i've also pre-edited this video right there <laughs> don't mind the uh, thumbnail on it but uh yeah just about i think it's about it's, it's pretty long unfortunately like with all my videos but there that's just the intro and just me going through video editing um but yeah very long winded rant right there uh my my day basically ended right here yeah it basically ended right here at 12 minutes uh but unfortunately i always have something to say just to let my mind out so yeah but i don't think this video will be too long uh because i'm just quite tired and it is already seven o'clock but i guess today i'm going to show you guys a bit of my how i edit uh so just going through yet again these notes right here um i just went through some film grains going through the video editing album playlist what is it our oh, folder folder i meant my bad and yeah just going through this so really just a lot of things that i saved and um i want to go through but uh currently it is past that um, so I'm gonna have to go to my next work block anyways so I'm just gonna be learning in the real world so here you go a little peek at my uh, content creation USB where I store all my raw files my final files um, but essentially I just have a bunch of videos downloaded either from website free packs uh, most of these are from YouTube um, I have transitions here I have a lot of burns as you can see um graffiti uh, graffiti let me let me size that up graffiti as you can see um paper rips which i used one in the video in the sunday video that i just showed you just downloaded some strobes surprisingly these are really small um oh yeah only 15 megabytes which is insane just a little tv transition that i did in regards to audio music, I unusually delete the music that I don't want 
but these are some that I decide to keep. I might remove some of these later that I already used from um, my last video, such as like these. Uh, but the rest are like, I don't know, stuff like, um, I don't know, stuff like uh, Sing About Me instrumental, which you would hear a lot in my in my videos because, I don't know, it's just, it's just something that I think fits in everything. So some of my sound effects right here, uh, some sample free packs, I just cleared out the ones I didn't want and I kept the ones I did want just to save up some space. I emptied out my scripts so unfortunately I still have my template right here but I don't have any scripts done which uh, just kind of kind of tells you guys that um, I, I don't script really any of my videos I just talk and I film uh, you know um, especially when especially when I finished that month recap series um, I said in the after talk that I didn't like it um, quite frankly, and I just wanted to get it over with, uh, because this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to film you guys real and, you know, authentic day in the life videos. I don't think I've told you guys this, but I'm, I'm done with the educational, um, videos kind of like that, where I'm like detailing my month or like how to reach success. I think I'm just not in a position to do that. So instead I'm just going to do day in the lives you know, record in the moment, uh, really level up my video editing style, as you can see with the, you know, the, um, the overlays, the, the burns, which you've seen already very commonly in my channel. Um, and yeah, really, really build up my personal brand, build up an audience because I'm only at 12, 12, 13 subscribers. And quite frankly, I get almost no engagement on those. So Feel like i need to work on those before trying to deliver value trying to um you know trying to bring something but i will still do rants I'll still do what's on my mind share a bit of my wisdom but right now it's about documenting my journey because i feel like when i go off to doing these educational videos and trying to make them professional when i'm in a position where my content and my skill level in video editing isn't like that i feel like I shouldn't be making videos um, on that. I'm not qualified to. So, yeah, just going to be doing, you know, day in the life vlogs from now on, showing you, detailing my progress in business, in video editing, in my life, my lifestyle. You know, I don't know, and just, just, just basically my entire life. Just to finish off, I have a Moga, which is like a uh, motion graphics, but I've, I've never, knew, I've never touched this yet. Um, I have a lot of overlays, letterboxes, uh, recently picked up, where is it, uh, the Holy Grain, it was just, I don't know, it looked really attractive, and you, you guys probably won't get this, but that's literally it, it doesn't look like much, but I don't know, it was just, um, it looked really good, so I downloaded it, it was a free grain, uh, letterboxes, film frames, I have some crayon assets, paper overlays, which I don't really use. Um, got some of these cool little scans. Uh, so something like this, the CRT scan. I don't know, they just look cool. So um, I might use them in the future. I, I commonly use this at the end of my videos, just some topography background. Uh, I have plenty of others for vertical videos, even though I don't really make those. Um, some music plays, I used this for the Sunday vlog, uh, in one edit, just to, uh, yep. I can't really access the MOV files, but, uh, we also got some, we got some magazine textures, as you can see, numbers one to nine here as well. Uh, I'm not sure if, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using these, but I don't know, I'm just keeping them, uh, they're not too heavy to carry. As well as that, we got the alphabet right here. Just the full thing, it's not really loading. There we go, so that's what they all look like. Um, and I just found these online, I don't pay for these. Uh, I just find free packs on YouTube, on Google, and also some scribble effects. I have not used these yet. We have some VHS, 
I am, I think I am looking to use these within like B-roll edits. Uh, I think that would make sense for it to use these. And what else? We got some sound effects for the VFX. Uh, a couple I've downloaded like this one, camera, shutter. Um, usually when I'm listening into uh, Iman Gaji on scripted in the videos, they do a lot of camera clicking for their VFX. So just trying to make sure, you know, I can emulate that, but haven't found any professional sites for that yet, but essentially that's basically been my whole day so far. Uh, just learning video editing, uh, making sure I'm actually applying my notes. Uh, but other than that, pretty boring day, pretty tired too. I was just, I don't know, overslept again which is a big problem for me um as i said i i oversleep most of the time i have had like two days this week where i didn't oversleep and it was good and it was fairly productive but i really just need to hammer that down and be consistent um just so then you know my routine is smooth and i don't you know start each work block you know with a fuzzy head with a fuzzy head um you know i'm I'm still tired I'm half awake because I overslept so yes yeah, sleep is not really a priority to me but waking up and starting my day right is really important if I don't do that everything else just crashes and you know it's not as productive as it could be so usually when I oversleep I would get about 12 hours left to work you know 12 10 11 hours left to work and that's not good enough for me so you know just like that video I showed you before, um, at the start, with Iman, Dan and Life, 14, I believe. Keep yourself to a higher standard, you know, always keep yourself accountable, you know. Yes, we make mistakes, but always try to learn from them and, you know, always try to move forward and always improve every single day. And I guess that's one of my philosophies with um, starting each day. So, um, other than that, I don't think I'm going to show you the rest of my day. I guess this... This video will be about um, how I edit, uh, my progress in video editing. But guys, other than that, um, I also finished Thinking Grow Rich. So um, yeah, I did some takeaways for that as well as Rich Dad Porter, which I already read, but I did not do the takeaways for, as in like takeaways are like notes. So then I know what I want to apply and what I want to focus on on the book. Uh, but other than that, finished Thinking Grow Rich, and I guess now, from now on, my reading sessions is going to be a summary of, you know, the 48 Lords of Power, and Think, or Sell, and Sell Like Crazy by Sabri Subi. Uh, I've only gone through about a chapter of this book, and I've only gone through, I think, about 16 15 laws of this so yeah going to be just summarizing because uh, I always go back on the 48 laws of power uh, just to make sure I remember it and then for sell like crazy I just continue as per usual because it's uh, it's quite digestible um, big fonts you know and not too much writing so yeah, wow, 48 Laws of Power. That takes a bit of brain power for me personally to compute and actually resonate and actually understand because it's not, to me, it's not just about remembering it. It's also about feeling it and seeing whether I can actually digest this and put it into action. But um, other than that, I hope you guys have gotten a little bit of insight into just what I'm doing with video editing, but just a change in the books I've read I'm starting to pick up now. So other than that, I'll see you guys soon. Stay safe. Take care.